Thanks for watching Fox Cruise Info. So if you are headed to Orlando International Airport and you're going on a Disney cruise and you decided to use the Disney Cruise Line transportation, uh, this video you definitely want to watch till the end. I have a lot of tips and I will navigate you through the airport because it is a little bit confusing on how you actually get to the Disney Cruise Line desk center. I also will have pictures of the map of the Orlando International Airport, which you can, if you want, go on their website, which I will have listed, and you can print this out for yourself in case you just want directions before you go. Now that we've landed, we have the terminal maps, which you can get at orlandoairport.net. Now when you arrive at the airport, you will be at one of these four gate hubs, and you will have to travel from there to the actual terminals. Uh, so you will have to hop a ride. Uh, just follow the crowd, uh, take the tram over to the terminal. Now that was the easy part. Now you have to get your bags and figure out how to get to the Disney Cruise Line desk. So it depends on what terminal uh, or what airline per se you used. So you check out the list of Terminal A and Terminal B, see what airline you used, and that is where your baggage claim will be. Now a quick tip, after you get off the ride and you are walking around the terminal, this is not the level where the baggage claim is. You will have to go down one flight of stairs or down the escalator to get to the baggage claim. Now this is the point where I feel like it can be confusing. The first time I went, uh, I definitely did some walking around before I figured out where everything was. Uh, the Disney Cruise Line desk is going to be on the Terminal B side. But if your baggage claim is on the Terminal A side, then you are definitely going to have to go to the other side to get to the cruise line desk. But not to worry, there will be a desk right when the escalators are at the bottom. There's usually like a round desk down there. Uh, there'll be someone standing there with the Disney Cruise Line sign, and they will be able to check your bags right there at that point, so you do not have to drag them all the way over to Terminal B. Now, once you have your bags and you've checked them at the desk or you've carried them over with you, uh, you will go to the Terminal B side, but that will be down one more flight. It will be down level one. And as you see, I am now approaching and you will see the Disney Cruise Line banner and booth. Now, if you are like me and you want to be the first one on the bus, so you can get a front row seat and you could be the first one off the bus and the first one on the ship, then this is a tip for you. As soon as you go up to the desk, and you check in, they will give you uh, little tickets. I don't know if it will be Pluto, and those will be your tickets to board the bus. Uh, they'll usually tell you, if you ask, how many minutes until the next bus arrives. If they tell you five, 10 minutes, which it usually is, just stand at the roped off area, it's only five minutes, and wait, so you'll be the first person on and the first person on the ship. Now, after an exhausting day of running around, flying through the airport, now you're finally on the bus, you can sit back and relax because it takes a good hour and a half, because uh, there's usually always traffic, to get to the ship itself. Now um, I have pluses and minuses to my experience. Um, after my last trip uh, using the Disney Cruise Line transportation, I can say that I will never use it again. Uh, it was a very horrible experience and it was just a very long time to be in the bus with, uh, it was packed, there was no empty seats. And I'll just keep it brief because I don't want to gross anyone out, but uh, there was people vomiting, uh, coughing in my hair, spitting. It was excruciating. The longest hour and a half of my life. Could not wait to get off. So next time, for the price of this, I could honestly just have taken an Uber, and I do believe that will be my way to go next time. Hope that does not steer you off if you do want to use it. But um, I'm not usually a huge one for masks, but I would bring one and keep it in your pocket just in case, because you don't know who you're gonna be sitting with for an hour and a half. Now, after that being said, thankfully no one did get sick um, on the cruise, but you don't wanna think that you're going to be getting sick while you're on the cruise before you've even gotten on the boat. And then that's it, you have arrived at the Disney Wish or whatever Disney cruise ship that you were taking. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I will have lots more Disney Cruise Line videos for you shortly. Thanks again.